are in the midst of this COVID pandemic and people are getting panicky. Everywhere there is chaos. But we have to see the positives. There is a hope provided we act at the right time. Our Prime Minister's message, test, track and treat. That is important. Basic thing is, the symptoms are should be very, very clear to all of us. Fever, fatigue, little sore throat, sneezing and body ache. If you have this and there is a loss of smell or loss of taste or some patients are also reporting as diarrhea, complaints of diarrhea. So, if you have any of these symptoms, immediately contact a doctor and as soon as you know the symptoms, start your treatment. Main thing is you need to take paracetamol whenever you have fever. Take high doses of vitamin C, vitamin D, that is that comes in the form of sachets, 60,000 uh, units sachet. Take once a day for two days and vitamin C should, can be taken twice a day or you can take lemon, I, almost 3 to 4 lemons in water every 3 to 4 hours and more hydration about 1 glass of water every hour that means 14 to 15 glasses of water per day. If you can do, if you are doing this, this much along with paracetamol, if symptoms are not severe that is enough. But if you have some you know symptoms are increasing not responding then you can start with some medicines uh, you know in the beginning ivermectin is one tablet 12 milligram once a day for three days and you can give an, any of the antibiotics doxy, doxycycline or azithromycin for five days and that is the usual thing you can also take a multivitamin and you can do steam inhalation and gargles vocadine gargles vocadine mouth gargles three times a day and steam in the morning and evening twice a day for about 10 minutes in the morning and evening and that is okay. Now, this is for the first three days if you have any symptoms. Second, suppose you continue with this thing and then you have difficulty in breathing, cough with breathing problem, you, sh you should keep on checking your oxygen saturation with pulse oximeter, right. If it is more than 95 percent, 94 percent, no problem. If it is less than that, then you need to go, you need to be aware. Another test, you can go for a six minute walk test. You can have your pulse oximeter in your hand and walk for 6 minutes briskly and then 30 seconds after walking record your uh, saturation. The, the, that oximeter can be on throughout the throughout your 6 minute walk and if it goes down from say from 98 it comes down to 95 that means probably you have lung, lung infection. You know there are three, 3 stages of COVID, one is nose, no, nose stage, second is throat stage and third is lung stage. Lung stage there may be mild pneumonia, mild COVID pneumonia or severe COVID pneumonia. So, if you have uh, nose stage and throat stage that is usually first 3 days and you can treat it very, very easily. Earlier you treat better it is. You can even steroid, start steroids earlier also you know in the first 3 days and also febiparabir can be started in first 3 days to be more effective and steroids and aspirin should also be taken 150 milligram after lunch daily that is in the form of blood thinners can be used. Now, when, it, when the infection reaches uh, in the lungs, low severity and severe infection. So, if you have that infection, go for HRCT thorax that is I told you this uh, 6 minute walk test and you also do, can do breath holding test. Uh, you can just count 20, you know, if you can count it in one breath that means your lungs are okay. If you, if you cannot, if you, you know, the breath, you are not able to hold that breath up to 20 count, that means there is something wrong with the lungs you can go for HRCT thorax and that thorax will tell you, uh, th that CT scan of the thorax will tell you how much is the lung infection. But do not fear, start your treatment immediately. You can start with uh, anticoagulants in the form of uh, enoxaprine. You can take once a day or twice a day depending on if you have disease, heart disease, diabetes and other com comorbidities. You can take uh, aspirin has, should, be, should be given daily after lunch. And steroids 
in the form of Nexona or methylprednisone can be taken in the form of Medrol tablets. That, that is as per the advice of the doctor. You have to consult your local doctor depending on diabetes and the symptoms and the severity of the lung disease, the drugs will be prescribed by the doctor. You can, you can use uh, Febipiravir can be used, right? Again, hydration is the main thing. Now, after considering all this, you know, basic uh, uh, antibiotic can be started and breathing exercises can be done and you can lie prone. If you lie prone, your oxygen will increase, increase because mostly uh, the lung infection goes into the basis, the posterior portions of the lung. And if you lie prone, the lungs, that area clears up and saturation will increase, oxygen will increase, right? And you should be, you know, uh, in the open air, you should be sitting more in open air. You can expose yourself to the sun and don't fear because I have seen in last 15 months, months of treating COVID patients uh, that patients who have anxiety and fear or depression, these are the people who deteriorate very fast. But if you should have confidence in yourself, confidence in a fa in doctor, your family to family physician and follow the advice of the doctor then you will come out of this disease very, very easily because 95% chances are there that you will come out of this disease nicely. Take some precautions, you will be all right. Only if the saturation goes down below 94, 94%, then consult a doctor. And then also home, home isolation for 7 days or 10 days. Then you should have a separate room, separate everything and should have mask all the time on and no one should enter your room. Manage your room yourself and, and the, take, take medicines at proper time. Hydration is very important, I told you. Take a lot of liquids. Uh, and then high protein diet is a must, right? You, and good quality protein. Then your antibodies will come up. But antibodies are not only one dimensional. We need to have three types immunity. One is spiritual immunity. Once you said, you know, meditation. Meditation is a must because to make you disease free, to make you anxiety free, to make you fear free or to make you depression free. It, the spiritual immunity, remind that I am a being, I am a human being. Om, ahem plus mam, ahem atma mam shariram. I am a being, I am a soul and this is my body. I am the healer. So connect with the supreme soul, powerhouse of seven energies, seven spiritual energies and once you combine with him, the energy starts coming in, coming in and then you start in, in your behavior, you will have peace, love, happiness, bliss and you have powers. You will, all the endorphins will come out, all the positive hormones will come out and the, you know, the Im immune system, a CD4 count will increase and the, your body will be in a fighting mode, will be able to fight the infection if you do this meditation, right? And then mental immunity have only positive thoughts. Do not get exposed to WhatsApp, television, other, other sort of internet informations or new, newspaper informations too much. Just focus on, go inside and have only positive thoughts. So that is, there are four aspects to uh, mental immunity. First is psychological immunity. Have that psychological, that only positive thoughts. Then emotional immunity. Have only good feelings about yourself and good feelings for others. And have created positive vibrations around you. And then attitudinal immunity, that is, you sort of take care of your attitude, that you have to have a positive attitude, you have to have a spiritual attitude to heal yourself. And then behavioral immunity, have your positive belief systems on, have your positive habits, go to bed early, get up early, meditate, and up to 8, 8 a.m., try to keep on churning positive thoughts only, positive emotions only. No negative thoughts should come up to 8 a.m. And even do not go for mobile or internet up to 8 a.m. or newspaper. If you do this and take about 8 hours of sleep, even during the day you can have good sleep, say maybe 2 hours sleep during the day and exposed to the sun. And then physical immunity, coming to the third aspect of immunity, that is the physical immunity or the body being, body immunity. That depends on your diet. So if you have high protein diet, that is, you can have wheat and uh, grams, black gram, in a ratio of six, six kg wheat and two kg of grams and get it, sort of, you can get flour, flour made, out, made out of it, 
you can have those chapatis, you can have more veg more salads, more green vegetables, more le lemon, green vegetables and avoid in the beginning, you can take, you know, lemon, you can take in the, uh, citrus containing fruits, that is vitamin C containing fruits, you know, you can take like uh, uh, oranges, you can take, which will make your sort of system better. And you can have little walk, but should not feel, should not, that walk should not tire you, that's important. And good sleep and your positive attitude. So remember, three tire security. And if, you, if there's a breach in this security, some people feel that, oh no, I am, I am very spiritual. That's not enough. You have to be spiritually spiritual as well as you have to be positive in your attitude, thoughts, emotions, and behavior, and then physical immunity also. Good amount of proteins, good hydration, walk, exposure to sun, open air, and lie prone. And you will come out. There's every chance that you will be out of this infection. You will heal yourself within 7 to 10 days. But if lungs are involved, then have patience. You will come out. It may take 14 days or 21 days. A little breathing exercises. And you can do incentive spirometry. That's very simple. And you will come out of this problem. Thank you so much.